Let's have a look at the Weld tool here in Cinema 4D. Now, the Weld tool can weld several object points or spline points into a single point. You basically select the points that you want to weld together, choose the Weld tool, and click a point to choose where the welded point will be placed. Any polygons that become redundant will be deleted automatically. You can use the weld with a single selected object or with multiple selected objects. However, keep in mind that the points of different objects cannot be truly welded together. Okay, so let's see what that means. I'm going to choose the linear drawing tool. I'm going to command click here. I'm going to go to the top and I'm going to draw a line here to here. And I'm going to draw another one from here to, let's say, here. And I'm going to middle mouse click, get back to the perspective view. So I've got two splines here. So I want to make sure that I have both of these points selected. And if I come over to the Mesh drop-down, Create Tool, Select the Weld. And you can see, if I zoom in, that I've already got an indicator of what I need to do here. So I need to click to weld the selected points right here. And boom, they're snapped together. Now remember, these aren't really connected. If you look at these two splines, you can see they're going from white to blue and from white to blue. If they were truly one spline, they would be going from white to blue or from white to blue. So what the weld command is doing is it's allowing these two points to share the same point in space, in 3D space. Okay, so let's take a look and see how that would work with a cube or a couple of cubes. So there's one. Let's move this over. Flip around. Put another one in here. Let's take these two. See on the keyboard to make them editable. And I'll select point mode again. Rectangular selection tool. And I'll just select these two points. Come over to mesh. Create tool. Weld. Just get in there. Click on the point here, and now these two points are sharing the same space. Let's undo a couple times. Let me select the Polygon tool, Live Selection. So now if I select this polygon, and Shift Select this polygon, and come up to the Mesh Create tool, Weld, you can see I can weld right here. I don't know that you would ever need to do something like that, but it's available to you if you need it. Okay, let's take a look at another example. Let's get rid of these. Let's put a cube in the scene, make it editable. I'm going to select a point. I'm going to right-click, select Disconnect, and then I'm going to pull up on here. So I've got this disconnected piece of geometry. I'll just zoom up on here. So I'm going to grab my rectangular selection. I select these two pieces. I go to Mesh, Create Tools, Weld, and seal that back up. So now if we go back over here and grab our selection tool and select this point, move it up, this has actually been connected back to the point, which is different if you've got two separate objects. Remember, if you're using two separate objects, trying to weld them together, they're only going to share the same point in space. They're not actually going to connect to one another, like if you're using the weld command on one single object. So once you understand the rules that go along with welding points, it will become a powerful tool in your modeling arsenal.